bearing. There. There. This is exponential. Versus um, quadratic.
y equals what's m? Yeah. What's the slope? The change in your y over the change in the x. What's the change in the x? Negative three minus a negative two is what? Negative one. Negative two minus a negative one. One. What's a negative two over negative one? Positive two. So here we have y equals two x plus. Where's across the y axis? I know. Zero. Yeah, because the x is zero here. Okay, if you didn't know that, what would you do? If you did not have that one, what would you do? <coughs> you what? You'd have to pick one of these values and plug in for x and y and solve for b. Okay. Everybody should be able to do that, yeah? For what? No. you got to plug in an x and a y value, so you pick like something like this, 1, 1, that'd be a good one to put in. So 1 equals 2 times 1 plus b, you subtract the 2, what's 1 minus 2? Negative 1, so it works, alright? So now you've written the equation. That's the easy one. Example 2. Who's actually started the, the assignment? Well, two of you. What did you think of the assignment? I didn't get into the equation part. Uh, easy? So you didn't start? No. Here's a table, which is not any different than your coordinates. Just written to look differently. Uh, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 are your x values. Your y values are 8, 2, 0, 2, and 8. All the x Just by looking at that, can you tell me what it is? Parabola. How do you know? It looks what? It looks symmetrical. <laughs> okay? It looks symmetrical. You're assuming it, it, it is because these are symmetrical. But then you need to make sure that these are also symmetrical, you know, the same distance away from each other as well. But yeah, this is a this is gonna be a parabola of quadratic equation. <laughs> So now the question is, let's let's just prove it by doing what we uh, do here. So uh, let's find our differences in our y's. What's that? Six. Six. What's that? Two. Oh my. Two. Negative two. Negative six. Negative six. Oh well, it's obviously not linear. Take the second differences. Maybe it's going to be quadratic. What's that? Six minus two. Four. Two minus a negative two. Four. Negative two minus six. Minus a negative six. Four. Four. Okay, the second difference is yes, it is a quadratic. Now I'll write the equation. Y equals uh, AX squared. How do you think I'm gonna find A? Well, do I know X and Y? You do? So what do we got to do? Ah, oh, let's pick a point. Pick a point. Uh, zero, zero would not be a good one to pick. Do not do that. Pick a, a, a point that's off of that. One, two. All right. So two is y, and one is x. Now solve for a. Quadratic to see if they are, if it's a quadratic. I take the second distance. 
If it's not either of those, then we need to look at exponential. So example three, guess what this is going to be? Well, maybe. All right, so here, given a table again. Here are your values. Negative one, zero, one, two, three. And your y values, 16, four, one, one fourth, one sixteenth. Okay, so yes, some of these really do look like what you think they are. Okay, but you're going to show me um, this stuff. So those of you who worked on the homework, did it look this simple? Yeah. Oh, why stop? Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> what do you think? Did you do carbon? You did. trying to get everybody else to understand that it's not that difficult. All right, um, again, let's go through this, this system. What's 16 minus 4? And 4 minus 1? 3. Oh my, that's 3 fourths. Uh, oh my. Well, let's just stop there because if the second differences here are opposite, or are not the same, then we don't even need to know that. 12 minus 3 is 9, and we know that 3 minus 3 fourths is not 9. So, so we know it's not linear, and we know it's not quadratic. It, for this uh, uh, lesson, it must be um, exponential, which is y equals a b to the x. Now we need to know um, a and b. But you do know a. Mm -hmm. A is always the initial value. The beginning point. Okay? And I'm not talking about this one. Which one do you think I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, zero, four. yeah. This is usually where we're starting our exponential functions um, when we talk about these things. So A is usually going to be this value right here. Alright? So y equals 4 b to the x. How do you think we can find um, B at this plug in x one. You could try that, but you should probably know something about what I already said at the beginning. What does it say over there? Ratios of the y values. Okay, so. I'm not going to erase this for you, but what is uh, 16 divided by 4? What is 4 divided by 1? What is 1 divided by 1 4? Are you guessing? No. Yeah, 1 divided by 1 4, you got to take the top times the reciprocal of the bottom. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, smarties. 4. You're guessing. No, we're not. No, I'm not. 4 uh, Oh, I'm sorry. One fourth divided by one sixteen. You change the one fourth to six four over six. One fourth. Times one fourth times sixteen over four <laughs> up one. So that's sixteen over four, which is four. Okay. What is the ratio? We got these to be. Uh, uh, 4 over 1, but here's how you do the ratio. The ratio is always the second one divided by the first. The second one divided by this. The second one divided by this. This one divided by that. So what is 4 divided by 16? 1 4. four. One four. Okay. So really B is 1 4 the X. That's how you find B. Okay? The, the ratio is the second one divided by the first. Got it? How do you want to take 6? 4 divided by 16. Okay, so we just stop. A is always the second in Y, and then A is always when X is zero. Okay. And then Why? Why does that work? When X is zero, what is B to the zero? One. Oh, smack you. B to the first. B to the zero.
zero power of one. Anything zero power of one. What is y equals a times one? Y equals a when x is zero. Okay. So that does help kind of guide you through this process. Anyway, if that made no sense to you, then follow the steps. A is the initial value when x is zero. B is always going to be the second. Y value divided by the first, or the third divided by the second, fourth divided by the third. They, those got to be the same, those ratios. And that's what goes in those positions. It's really not that difficult, guys, once you get going. Okay? So those of you who have worked on it, what do you think? Easier. Okay. All right. Assignment. Make it short. Make it short? Alright. <laughs> That's tall. That's short. This is tall. That's big. What is the number of Well, technically. I actually don't have what it is. What is it? 3 to what? 18. 3 to 18 all. Ooh, yes. <laughs> what? Measure view even. No. 